Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can add picklist and multi-select picklist fields in Salesforce screen flows. So first let me show you the demo of screen flow in which I have added the picklist. So this is the screen flow that I've created to create opportunity records. And in the screen element, I have also added the picklist fields. So the picklist field that I've added here is the stage name. So I've added it here in the screen. And now I will show you the screen flow in the debug window from where, where you can see the values of the picklist field. So this is the form to create the opportunity record and uh, here you can see this is the stage name so as we click on the stage name it will show all the values of the picklist field is stage so from here you can select any of the value of the picklist field so this is how a picklist field look like when you add it to the screen flow and now we will move ahead and see the process of adding a picklist field to the salesforce screen flow and before starting the flow i would just like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course and i will also give the course link in the description so this is the admin course that we have launched so even if you are a beginner or the one who already knows the Salesforce, this course is going to help you a lot. So we have covered this course in several modules. So you will scroll down and see all the modules that we have covered in this course. So it will take just two to three months to cover this course. And when it comes to price, we have kept it $199. So once you access the course, you will have a lifetime access of it. So now let's move back to the topic. So right now I'm on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning. And from here, I will navigate to the flow setup. So for that in quick find box, we will search and select flows. And in the flow setup window, click on the button new flow. And now in this screen, you will see two options start from scratch or use a template. So we are going to create this screen flow from scratch. So I will select this option and then click next. So we are going to create a screen flow. So I'll select a screen flow and click create. So this is the flow canvas. And in this example, also, I'm going to show you how you can create opportunity record using the screen flow. So for that, first, we are going to add a screen element. So here is the screen element. So for the opportunity record, I'm going to add three fields that is opportunity name, opportunity close date and the opportunity stage. So the opportunity stage is going to be a pick list and also I will add one multi select pick list field. So that multi select pick list is uh, I'm having in my opportunity object and it is a custom field and the multi select field name is product interested. So this is the custom field multi select that I'm going to add in the flow. So first for the opportunity name, I'm going to drag and drop the text component. So this text component will take the input for the opportunity name. So here I will enter the label as opportunity name and API name will be auto field. So this is completed. And now we are going to add the close date for the opportunity. So for that, I'm going to add the date field. So for the date field, I'm going to enter the label as close date. So now we are going to add the pick list field that is a stage name. So for that, I have searched and selected pick list from the components. And now I have added it to the screen. So the label for this pick list field is going to be opportunity stage. And the API name will be auto field. So there are two ways to define values of a pick list in a screen flow. So the first method is you can manually assign or write the values for the choice. For example, in the opportunity stage, we have six values. So for example, this is the opportunity stage field. And here are the values of opportunity stage pick list. So for example, I want to assign the stage values to manually assign. I have to manually write all the stage names here that is closed one. Then again, click on the add choice and then another value close lost. And then I will click on add choice and then another pick list value that is need analysis. And the next value is prospecting. So this is how you can manually define the choice for the pick list field. So this approach is fine when you have a least number of pick list field. But when you are working with large data sets, for example, you are having a pick list field as a country. So in a country pick list field, there will be a huge number of values. So when you have a large number of values, so instead of assigning those values manually, what you can do is that you can create a new choice resource and map it with the object field. So how you can do it? So go to the choice field and here click on new choice resource and here select the resource type as pick list choice set. And here you have to enter the API name. So I will name it as opportunity stage. So object here is going to be the object for which you are adding the pick list field. So here I've selected opportunity and the data type is going to be pick list and the field is going to be the pick list field for which you want to get the values. So here I want the values of the stage field. So I will map it with the stage name and then click on the done button. So with this approach, we don't need to manually enter all the values of a pick list field. And in the same way, we will add a multi select pick list also. So I will drag and drop the multi select pick list to the screen region and I will enter the label and the API name for this also. And for multi select pick list also, I am going to select a choice resource. So for that, click on the choice and here select new choice resource. 
so the resource type is going to be the picklist choice set so the picklist choice set is available for both the values of picklist and as well as multi select picklist so i will select this choice set and the api name i am going to enter here is opportunity product and the object here is going to be opportunity and then we have to select the data type so this time the data type is going to be the multi select picklist and then we have to map it with the fields from which we want to fetch or get the values so the field here is the product interested the custom picklist field that i have showed you and at last we have to click on the done button so this is how you can add picklist and picklist multi select fields to the screen flow and at last i will save this so here i forgot to enter the label for the screen component so i will enter it as opportunity details because in this user is going to give input to create the opportunity records and here i will click on the done button and to create the opportunity records from the input fields we need to add a create record element so here is the create record element and the label here is going to be create opportunity and the api name will be auto fields so here in the option how to set record field values we will select the option manually and here select opportunity object so now we need to map the field with the values of the screen component so on the left hand side you will see the fields from the object so close date i will map it with the opportunity details close date and the name field with the opportunity details opportunity name and stage with the picklist field choice resource that we have created so it was opportunity details that is opportunity stage and then the last multi select picklist field that is product interested and here we have to map the value for this so value was screen component and then select so this is the value of the multi select field that is product and at last we have to click on the save button and enter the flow label and the flow api name and the flow api name will be auto filled and then you have to click on the save button so as of now the flow is created and now i will show you in the debug window that how the picklist field will look alike after deploying it to the screen flow so here in the debug window we have to click on the run button and here i will enter the opportunity name so here the close date is the date field so i will select the date so as we click on the picklist field opportunity stage you will see all the values fetched from the record source that we have created so from here you can select the picklist field and after this we have also added the multi select picklist so from here we can select the multi select picklist and then click next so here you can see the flow run successfully and we do not get any errors and also you can see the message transaction committed that means the flow is working fine so this is how you can add picklist and multi select picklist field to salesforce screen flow so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video and if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon to get regular updates of our upcoming youtube videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye